we need to pray for this city, Chingola. Chingola has been, you know, facing problems. Gassing started from Chingola. People, you know, being, you know, matched, started from where? Why? We have lost now our brothers. They have left children and wives. The number is too much. It's too big. It's too big. 30 something or 40, it's too big. How many, how many children will be fatherless? How many women will be widows? You feel that pain, you are disturbed. We are facing a lot of problems. There are so many, you know, orphans. I am a pastor. We support, you know, our brothers and sisters. We know the challenge on the ground. Now look at the number. And some of these brothers, they were like breadwinners in their family. And they are no more people of God. It is not enough for everyone to say, I am a child of God or you are a pastor. And Satan is on top of our life, killing us like animals. We need to pray for these families. Our prayer can change their thinking. Let them see hope that Jesus is the hope. And when we pray for this family, because our brothers have gone, it is us who are remaining. Who is next now? This is why, people of God, we need to be serious when it comes to Christianity. We need to be sure that when we pray, God has already answered our prayer. Because prayer is not only for you alone. Even those who are working in the mines, those who are driving who are on the Lord, those who are different types of jobs, their protection will come through your prayer. There are people who cannot pray or go to church. But through your prayer, the grace of God will always be upon their lives. One day, they are going to turn and believe in your God. Through your prayer. When I saw this message, because I was not here in Zambia, I was disturbed. I said, why? It was like you are, you are dreaming. Why? The day before yesterday when I was praying, yesterday was Saturday, Friday. Again, what I saw was disturbing. I said, no, what is all this again? Is it the same people? Satan, I want to bring another disaster. We need to pray for this city, Chingola. Christians, stop fighting each other. Let us fight Satan. Stop looking at the number of people. How many people are with you? The issue is not numbers. The issue is the power of God to protect every one of us. That is the issue. Because more people, more problems. It is only Jesus who can comfort our mothers, the children, because the support that we see now, just after burying our brothers, no one will be there again to support them. I'm telling you the truth. What you see now will not be there in the next two months. The children and the mother will start what? Suffering. I, I know what I'm talking about. It is only you, the church, now to come in and take over where the government will left. To look after these people. Whatever you can do in a small way, do it. I'm telling you, what you see in Bemba, there is a saying which says, Ichi kabile, ech talele. Ichi mbinga chilipamudilo chila kaba. Nga mwabika mumenshi. Just after burying our brothers, no one will remember all those families. Only God.
so we ask God for his mercy and his favor upon this seat Chingola for our protection. Our brothers, if they knew that going to that pit we are going to die, they would not go there. They thought we are going there, do our job, come back and bring something on the table for our families. But devil was busy setting up traps all over the area. This is why I was saying future belongs to God. Future belongs to who? You may think you are strong today. You may think you are poor of today. You don't know what is next. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. We are asking for your mercy, your mercy and your favor upon the families who are mourning, who have lost their loved ones, the children and the, the wives of our brothers. Your mercy and your favor. 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 Spirit of the living God, your mercy and your favor, 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 in Jesus Christ's name. Let us pray for the team who are working there to retrieve our brothers. God to give them wisdom, boldness, determination, and protection also because they are also risking their lives where they are going to retrieve our brother it's also a danger we need to pray for that team please people of god don't when you are praying remember them in your prayer it is not easy that job they are doing it's a very sensitive job let us commit them to the hands of jesus to protect them to control them and direct them direct to the spot where they can discover our brothers. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Declare his mercy, his strength, his power, authority to take over that place. Let the Spirit of God take over that place to remove all the demons that are manipulating the thinking of the rescue team. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shall we commit the president and his team, the whole entire country, for wisdom, knowledge? Because leadership is from God. No one can do it without the support of God. If you leave God and you want to trust your mind, you are creating future problems for yourselves. Let us pray for our leader and our president and his team for that wisdom, oneness, unity for the purpose, love for the purpose. Because where there is peace, there is progress. Where there is unity, there is peace and progress. Shall we commit our president and his people? Father, your mercy, 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 your mercy. I have a friend. Who never fails. I have a friend who never fails. I have a friend.
remember these people. Amen. We need to stand together very strong. And I believe that God will give the capacity and the ability to the team that are working there. This week, God will make them to conclude. It is only him who can do that. Mm, we have no power on our own. Mm, we have no power, but God can do that. Amen. 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 Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I soak with the blood of Jesus and I cover you with the form of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's name. God bless you. Come on! Put your fish. Every situation must bow. Within my body. Within my house. Within my family, every new must bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord.